So after I went on a couple more visits after Mizzou, when I kind of just wanted to jump the gun, my dad brought us back, was like, you need to look at the full picture and you know maybe visit a few more schools. So going on recruitment visits after that, I really kind of took my time and made sure I was taking a step back and not getting kind of caught up in everything that was happening on the visit. Because when they're, you're there, they're like whining and dining you, you get to do all the fun stuff, you meet the team, everyone's really nice, and they make it so you want to go to that school, that's the point. So I made sure that, you know, I wasn't too caught up in that and I was really focusing on the things that I wanted out of a school. So it wasn't just, you know, oh, this looks really fun, I want to commit here. It's, do they have this, this, and this, which is what I need in order to go to this school. Well, it was an insane sort of thing because, um, again, that was in our area, the actual sport. But I think what we, we tried to focus on was her and our family. You know, what, what are the situations that benefit her the most? You know, that's where we know her best. You know, as far as the rankings and all those things, those are subjective things. Those are subject to politics. I mean, we knew she could play. But, I mean, again, it's all about circumstance. You know, you guys follow sports. You know, it's your team, your coaches, your atmosphere that usually, I think, helps you thrive. So that's really the way we kind of looked at it, knowing how she is and how she's built. Where would she thrive the most? What are the circumstances? What are the coaching styles? You know, and you know, there's just four years, but what about the 40 years after that? You know, how does she benefit from this process that a lot of other people will benefit from? So that's kind of, so it, it made it clearer because we know her and we focused on her and then everything just kind of went around that. So for me it was about fit for her um, and where she wanted to go. So I felt like I had very little say in where she ultimately chose to go. So I trusted Nafisa. She's always been very mature, I felt like, in her decisions. She may be quiet, but she knows what she wants. So while we did sit around after every in-home visit and we went through our pros and cons, we really, like our, we were just telling our opinions. What she felt was the most important. Yeah, so what I was really looking for out of a school was, I knew at that point I wanted to play professionally, so what are they, what are they doing in order to get me to that level? How is their player development? How is their just everything, nutrition? Um, you know, with the academic side, like do we have tutors? We have all these things, which is gonna get me to that point, which is where I know, knew that I needed to be. But during the process, because I, I'm always worried about the things I don't know, I don't know. So I wanted us to have an objective thing. So one of the things we came up with was each school, um, the four of us would write five pros and five cons. And then we'll go right after the visit before we forgot. And then we'd kind of go through those and narrow down, you know, the commonalities. And, um, but when we went to UConn, I mean, UConn is just one of those things. So and my feeling was, you have to decide, are you good? If you think you're good, UConn will let you know. I mean, so it's a challenge. If you're the best at UConn, you know you're good. Um, if you want to be comfortable, I mean, it's just, again, at the end of the day, it had to be her decision. I just wanted us to make sure that we all went through the process. It was tedious, but we all went through the process so that we were kind of objective and intentional in the decisions that we made. And then the gut feeling, you know, the ambition, it's her. I mean, when she made that decision, you know, if you know Nafisa, it hit her, but she had the confidence to know that this is where I want to go. And when we went to UConn, she said, this is it, like, this is, I know it in my bones, this is where I need to be, so I said, okay. When you go there, in terms of the aesthetics, all the other places were a lot more, they were a lot nicer, uh, nicer amenities, you know, again, aesthetically pleasing. But when you went to Yukon, there was just feeling. And, you know, you look around, you see why they were successful, and you realize that structure is not for everyone. Uh, but if you can flourish in that structure, something is good. And I think we all recognize that. Because we all went there thinking, oh, we're good. We were just, you know, doing, you know, going through the process. But once we went there, we went through that. We experienced what we did there. I think it was pretty clear to all of us that, you know, this is the next step. I first started getting recruited by UConn, I think my junior year of high school, and then, or the beginning of my junior year, and then I went on a visit the end of my junior year. 
and you know I actually didn't want to go to UConn like I was really against it at first just because I knew that they were the best school and the competitor in me wanted to beat them they've won all these championships they you always hear about UConn I'm like I want to be on the team that beats UConn so I kind of had that mentality going into my visit but I'm like you know they're the best school in the nation I guess I'll go on a visit here but I went and it was really just no competition after that. I mean, not only did I love the girls on the team, um, it was such like a family environment and really like a sisterhood more than I'd seen anywhere else. But again, I knew that I wanted to play in the WNBA and these were the people that were gonna get me there. Um, their player development, how smart the coaches were, the way that they saw the game. I mean, even to this day when coach talks, like you have no choice but to listen. He just captures you with what he's saying and um, just, the way, again, that they see the game and the coaching style that they use, I think is good for my personality. They really push you and get the best out of you. So I just knew that that was where I needed to be. Having coach come to my high school games as opposed to an AAU game definitely made me feel special and like he was taking me seriously as a candidate to be to come to his school because, you know, at AAU tournaments, coaches pretty much just pay to watch all the teams there. Um, but, you know, coming to my specific game really meant that he was looking at me as a player, seeing if he wanted me to be on their team and um, that he was there just for me. So it felt really good. It was really cool having Coach Gino and CD in my house, um, having them there to recruit me. And, but I think something that stuck out in my head the most was, you know, they never promise anything, which is what a lot of coaches do but they made the specific point to say, we're not promising you anything. We're not promising a starting spot, playing time, anything like that. Like if you come to our school, you have to earn it. And I really respected that, that they said that because again, a lot of coaches will kind of promise you things and make it sound awesome to get you to go there. And then, you know, maybe not follow through or whatever it may be, but they kind of just said from the jump, like you better be good or you're not gonna play. So I kind of respected that. There are, I think, two schools of thought. You can go on a team and be the face of the team. You can be the franchise player of that team. And she had kind of, we felt like, been that player in a lot of her high school or her AAU teams. But then you go to UConn and you are, you're not gonna be the best player. So do you want to be the best player or do you wanna go on to a program where the best players can make you a better player? I chose UConn because I knew that they were going to get me to the WNBA, which at that point was my ultimate goal. I knew that I wanted to play professionally, so going to UConn was kind of for me like a business decision because, you know, I wasn't really going there for the parties because there's not a bunch. There's not much to do in UConn. It's really cold. So I went there with the knowledge knowing that I'm using this experience to get me to the professional level. Um, the advice that I would give people who are getting recruited would be just to find the fit that's best for you. Um, you know, a lot of times people kind of get caught up on D1 schools or things like that, like accolades that the schools have, but you want to go somewhere like you're playing that sport because you love it. You want to go somewhere that you're going to play. So find somewhere that checks your checklist, like I had mine, meets all your needs, and somewhere that you know that you'll have a chance to succeed at. I'm Candace Parker and this is through the lens. Yep. Yep. Nice. I'm behind them too. Like I see Cam Reddish. Don't ever doubt me. Don't ever <laughs> doubt me. Ooh, you got me right here. I'm just gonna take you down. Now.